Good evening, Rick and Jennifer. Police say LeWayne Brownlee was killed on November 21st, and then just two days later, Truman was found here inside these apartments, dead as well. And now police are still looking for one suspect. One is arrested. Uh, now, while police say both homicides are unrelated, they say they share similar circumstances. And tonight, we spoke with police and neighbors. When Karen Garner found out about the murder of her neighbor, 45-year-old James Truman, she says, I was shot all day. She describes him as a kind neighbor. Truman lived just down the street from her in these apartments along Indiana Avenue, and that's where police found him dead on November 23rd. Garner says she saw Truman around the neighborhood days before his death. There's a little things you think about after somebody passes, the little moments. Now, 55-year-old William Davis of Louisville is in custody for the murder. LMPD arrested Davis at his home on Wednesday. Jeffersonville police say they found several pieces of evidence linking Davis to the crime. We're told the two men knew each other. Their relationship, police tell us, surrounded illicit drug activity. The reason I want to highlight this fact is to provide reassurance to our community that this was not just a random act of violence. We want the residents of Jeffersonville to know that incidents like this are absolutely rare, isolated, and do not pose an ongoing threat to the safety of our community. As one man is now in custody for one murder, police are still on the hunt for another suspect in a separate homicide that happened two days prior on November 21st. 19-year-old Anthony White is wanted for the murder of LeWayne Brownlee on Cobb Avenue. Police say the two men knew each other also from criminal activity. This tragic incident serves as another example of how criminal behavior, behavior can often perpetuate more crime. As they search for White, they're also searching for his 19-year-old girlfriend, Andrea Peoples. She's been reported missing by her family who haven't heard from her. Police say she is not a suspect and was last seen November 22nd near 6th and Broadway in Louisville. Investigators would like to speak with Andrea to ensure her safety and provide her family with the comfort of knowing that she is in fact safe and no longer with Mr. White. As both investigations continue, neighbors say they're being more cautious. I've always been a city girl, so I always keep things locked, and but I've been more a little bit staying indoors. Police believe White is no longer in their in their jurisdiction. They believe he could be armed and dangerous. And if anybody sees people, they encourage people to call 574-LMPD. Reporting live, Madison Elliott, WLKY News.